What is up everybody and welcome back to Alt Knots. Welcome to another day here in the Yarn Dungeon where I'm all about showing the world that crochet is killer. Today we are gonna be working on the king size Addy machine in order to make the double brimmed beanie. In order to get started, we're gonna need a couple of materials. So starting off, grab yourself a number four medium weight type of yarn in whatever color that you want. So the reason that I suggest using a number four medium weight is because it works really, really well with the Addy machine. Especially if you're a beginner, it's not not gonna fight you it's gonna like glide really nice on your addy machine and also when it comes off as the hat the stitches end up looking beautiful if you want to add patches go ahead and grab a couple of patches a little bit of fabric glue a pair of scissors, some waist yarn here that is an entirely different color than your main color, preferably in a medium number four weight as well. Lastly, a loom pick. That is everything that we need in order to get started, so make sure you go ahead and grab your liquid form of caffeine and let's make this beanie. First, you wanna make sure on the side here that it is not on plain knitting. You have this click down for circular knitting. Grab your clamps, attach it onto both of the front legs, and then attach that onto the table. Starting with our waist yarn here, crank all the way over until you find that very first black tooth here. That's where we're gonna start. For casting, we're gonna start on the right-hand side of this first black tooth and go in front of it, then alternate. So behind this next one, in front of the next one, behind, in front, behind, in front, and do that all the way around to cast on this first row. Once you get all the way around to the very first black tooth again, make sure that this piece of yarn goes underneath this little red lip here, right on the right hand side of the black tooth. And then pop your yarn in there and close that up. Now we're gonna actually start. So we're gonna clear this up to zero and we're gonna cast on five. So just start to crank here and go kind of slow for the first one, just to make sure that everything catches the way that it's supposed to. Once you get back to the beginning, then you can go a little bit faster. And grab your scissors and cut a piece about six inches or so. Pull that right out. Make sure that it did catch on that very last white one there and throw that right in the middle. Now we're gonna switch over to the actual main yarn that we're using. Once again, working on the right hand side of this very first black tooth, close it up here, then continue to keep cranking here for this next row. And for the brim of the hat, we're gonna crank out 40 rows. So as long as everything looks good, you can just go ahead and go as fast as you'd like to. Obviously, the faster you go, you do run the possibility of jumping or skipping a stitch. So just kind of feel it out how everything's going. But yeah, just go ahead and crank out 40 rows for the brim of the hat.
So I made it all the way around to row 40 here. Now we're gonna actually fold this up and start creating the brim here. Grabbing that very first row that we did, and we're gonna be working right where we first started. And here is where the loom pick comes in super handy. Working on the first row of the main color that you did, so not this waist yarn here. We're gonna insert that little loom pick right underneath it and slide it right over the first black tooth here, just like that. Then we're gonna continue to do that all the way around. So slowly go ahead and turn, grab that next stitch there, making sure not to grab the waist yarn, put it right over the top and turn on to the next one. Now when you're getting towards the end here, make sure once again that this starting tail doesn't get caught up inside this because eventually we're gonna take this waist yarn out. Now we made it all the way back to this very first black tooth once again. So for the main portion of the beanie, we're gonna do another 25 rows. And there's a lot going on here right now, so make sure you do go slow for this very first row. Once you've finished up all those rows, we're gonna need to grab the yarn needle here. And I like the one that the Addy Machine comes with. Since it's curved like this, it really helps to get the stitches off. So we're gonna go ahead and cut a relatively long strand of this here. Cut that working yarn, because we're gonna use this in order to pick up all of the stitches. Feed the yarn through the yarn needle and secure it tightly. You definitely don't want this falling off. Next, go ahead and open up the yarn guide here. Pull the yarn out, and we're gonna slowly start to turn this here. And as soon as this first black tooth drops, we're gonna immediately pick up that stitch. So just run that yarn needle right through it. Then do that with the next one here. And as you get going, it'll be a little bit easier so you can pick up one or two stitches at the same time. Just be careful though. You don't wanna drop a stitch, it definitely creates a mess. Continue to pick up each stitch all the way around in order to get the hat off of the adding machine. Once you have the hat off the adding machine, now we're gonna take off this waist yarn. Starting right here where we have this loose piece of yarn, we're gonna wanna actually attach that onto the hat here, making a little knot so it doesn't actually drop any stitches. To do this, just simply go right into that same stitch and create a tiny knot. Don't over tighten it here, otherwise it'll make your stitch pucker. So just tighten it so it's nice and secure, then continue to remove this waist yarn.
Once you have this completely off of the hat, don't throw this away. You can totally reuse this because you know it's exactly five rounds of waist yarn. You can use it for all of your hats that you make. Now we can go ahead and close the top of the hat by simply pulling on the strand. Just make sure that's inside out. Then using the yarn needle, weave the top portion closed. Then on this last one here, I like to hold this and pull the yarn needle through the loop to create a knot. Cut your working yarn and turn your hat right side out. Now, this is the part that if you wanna go ahead and attach a patch onto it, grab your patch, grab your fabric glue, attach a little bit to it and place it right on the brim portion there. If you do add a patch though, make sure that you allow time for it to sit overnight. That way it can just adhere a lot better to the fibers. Place like a book or something heavy over top of it, leave it, forget about it overnight, and then you come back to a hat that looks something like this and it's super amazing and go ahead and attach the enamel pins if you want to as well. All right, ghouls, that is all there is in order to make this double brimmed beanie here. Let me know in the comments down below if you loved it, if you plan on making it for yourself or as a gift, let me know all the things down in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to see more spooky themed beanies, shout that out at me as well. I have so many spooky patches that I could make tons of different themes of beanies here. So if we're interested in that, let's go ahead and do it as well. But that is all I have for you ghouls today. So thank you once again for hanging out with me, making a super, spooky double brim beanie here. Have a fantastically spooky day and I will see you in my next video.